Welcome back to the Torque Test Channel. This month, Heart, the Walmart cordless tool brand, introduced its first brushless impact wrench, the HPI W25, which is a 20 volt brushless mid torque. So we bought one. Most interesting though to us is a couple of its stats. For one, this is a $170 bare tool from Walmart. That's how much Milwaukee mid torques used to cost. The cheapest we could spec a kit with a battery and charger for this is 245, 246 bucks. That means a 40 volt brushless chainsaw from Hart in both kit versus kit and bare tool form is cheaper to purchase than this new mid torque. They certainly think highly of this new introduction. And by their own numbers, they do as well. The second most interesting stat to us is that this is rated for 600 foot pounds and that's the lowest figure they provided on this tool in their verbiage. So by the numbers, it might be judged pretty harshly compared to the Milwaukee mid torque, which boasts 650 and 550 foot pounds numbers. The heart at 7.2 inches is noticeably longer than the Milwaukee. And well, they come from the same folks over at TTI as well. Walmart doing well to point this out, unlike most retailers. So today we're gonna to test this new brushless impact against that Milwaukee, as well as some of the latest from the TTI outfit making these tools in case there's some similarity there. For the price, heck, maybe there's even some savings to be had given the context of where this tool belongs. Then by the time we're done, we're gonna show you what this performance bump up looks like versus Hart's existing brush model that we've tested before. Now I know Walmart was sort of left with few choices to differentiate itself in power tools among brand colors, but personally, white? Even gentle care of these tools leads to them becoming sort of light beige in short order. All right, we're gonna hop into our first test series called Working Torque. We're gonna show you both the 3 8 2960 and half inch 2962 Milwaukee mid torques on screen first to see how they do. Okay, so 360 over 337 with the 3 8 making later gains in the run. Here's how the new heart does. Three hundred and fifty one foot pounds sort of right in between the two Milwaukee values. This heart is the newest mid torque model to be released from the TTI branch. But until this, the new rigid mid torque was the latest. While the rigid is a bit shorter than the heart, let's throw its hat into the ring and see how it stacks up as well from here on out. Three hundred and forty seven from the rigid, so far very similar to the three fifty one of the heart. Our next test is called Max Torque, 10 seconds in reverse. Their median run of three shown on screen as usual. Here's the rigid versus the Milwaukee's. That later introduced rigid makes up ground in this particular test with 430 foot pounds, the 3,800 impacts per minute of the orange tool helping to get it to where it's going a bit quicker than the 3,100 IPM of the Milwaukee. Next up is the heart. Here's its max run. Three hundred and ninety two again between the two Milwaukee models. While it's not matching their curve per se, it is reaching similar peak numbers, meaning it is able to loosen some of the same things that Milwaukee can so far, just in some scenarios, perhaps a bit slower. Not bad if those two red tools do cost two hundred and nineteen dollars a piece, though we did notice that despite this model being brushless, it sounds the most brushed of any brushless tool that I've bought. A bit funky. All right, last up is our best case scenario test. Their best runs afforded 15 seconds to do so. 
Let's see what they can all do. Here's the heart taking on the rest. Four hundred and sixty-two with four seventy-nine being the best of this bunch. Really, you can tell quite clearly that all these tools are from the same era of brushless mid torques and even perhaps the same manufacturer here. Can't speak to those other attributes just yet. While maybe not a standout compared to $215 and $199 bare tools, this new heart is really meant to be a powerful upgrade, in my opinion, rather than one that's supposed to topple the best in the market. And boy, does it represent an upgrade. Here is the brushed heart HPI W01 which is over an inch longer. Quite a difference, and you might have noticed that this run was in forward where this brush model preferred things. This is what it looks like in reverse, like the new model saw its numbers. Maybe not quite two times the performance here, but like 1.75 times the performance? <laughs> yeah, that's an upgrade for around 40% more cost. Let's head over to the ranking where we found another tool that's an even closer obvious relative to this one than the models we've shown you thus far. Starting below the new rigid in the Milwaukee for now, its power runs are turned into points as 35, 39, and 46. At 7.2 inches long, it's longer than these two, but it made good power. That's 64.2 foot-pounds per inch of space that it takes up which is important for a mid-torque. This number is going to get it hosed a bit, only advertises 600 foot-pounds, whereas all these tools also advertise max torque numbers along with their breakaway like most traditional impacts do. When you simply say 600, you definitely want to be compared against some of the top mid-torques out there, so here we are. 77 points or 77% of that claim. $169 is a lot for an impact wrench from Walmart, I think. And I believe most people walking around in the aisles and grabbing their groceries on that day and seeing this tool would probably agree. And well, as a matter of fact, that's more than the Ryobi P262 was at launch. And actually this P262, while rated 450 max, is also rated 600 foot-pounds breakaway like this tool. And they're both 7.2 inches long and similar weights. And you guessed it, also both made by TTI, who seems to make most of the impacts in this area on the list. We were so focused during the making of this episode on the latest from TTI, that rigid here, that we forgot, well, Hart probably isn't getting the latest 2022 stuff. So in this case, a possibly separate variation of, but also heavily borrowed internals, I'm sure, from the Ryobi P262, which is also a very good mid-torque that we found. Also, the Ryobi with the six amp hour battery basically makes the same or a little more than these numbers right here, in fact. So yeah, even under a name like Hart, which is perhaps even still more entry level than Ryobi, inflation is doing its thing here. But let's tally things first. That's 302.2 points for the Hart, placing it just under the Ryobi, which is probably fitting. If the Hart carried that same 450 max rating as well, they'd basically have the same exact score here for unsurprising reasons. But at this price, the Ryobi found sometimes for 130 to 140 dollars is just a better buy and a massive platform compared to Hart's cordless line. Of course, if you do own Hart stuff already, this is now the most powerful impact wrench you can buy in their line and a massive boost in performance compared to the model that carried that description before now. So you should celebrate getting effectively a Ryobi P262-ish type impact wrench under the fold. I know I would be if I only owned Hart batteries. We're still interested in what a Hart half inch high torque might look like in the future if that ever does exist. But until that day, appreciate you joining us. We make episodes like this at least every Friday. Thanks for watching.